Samira, thank you for being with us. So before we talk about uh, the subject of today, which is a very innovative test that you are going to launch together at Clinique La Perrie and Genomi, first in the world, let me just make a short summary of what we did in the last year on genetic and epigenetic at the clinic, because I think it's uh, uh, quite important to explain that we have been in 2016 the first clinic that has introduced uh, in all our program the genetic test at that time. And it was very important for us uh, for two reasons. Uh, the first, uh, of course, was uh, to fulfill our 3C philosophy. We call it 3C uh, competence, care, and customization. So the ability really based on the result of the genetic test to customize the intervention for our uh, client and guest. And the second part was that at that time everybody was talking about genetic related to cancer and disease. And we wanted to tell our client that the genetic could have a very important role also in lifestyle, in understanding the way they were functioning. And then in 2019 we met and we, in a sense, we could say that we put together the last part of the puzzle, which was the epigenetic part, so the expression of the gene. And we decided in 2018, I think first clinic in the world, in a very short uh, turnaround time, because we were able to provide testing just four days to our client. It was very important, and it is very important for us to be able to explain in person to our client the result of the test. So we start to put also this missing part of epigenetic and to customize even more the intervention to make the intervention for our client even more precise, uh, you know, fulfilling this idea that diagnostic in longevity is really a critical part in defining then the precision intervention that is coming after. Before we go into the test, uh, maybe uh, Olga, shall we go through a quick explanation about epigenetic for the listener that maybe uh, they have not clear what is epigenetic? So Samira, I was wondering if you could actually explain and highlight to, to our audience a little bit more about the epigenetic science being such a new subfield or subdomain of, of, of longevity. Um, how can we use uh, epigenetics in order to understand the biological age of, of our guests and really to drive personalized solutions that allows us to somehow reverse or manipulate the aging process? Epigenetic mechanisms are really interesting because they are um, among the first, the very early response our body has to environmental factors. And this happens through the regulation of gene expression. And um, environmental external factors um, can be, for example, physical factors um, or, or lifestyle factors, but uh, these epigenetic mechanisms can also react to internal factors like diseases and hormones. And we can use the epigenetic clock that will summarize all this um, knowledge into a simple um, measurement that we can understand and it will give the idea of how fast we have uh, aged, did we, did we age prematurely. And in addition to that, we can use the four um, other markers that we developed that will um, measure what is the impact in a more fine way, what is the impact of lifestyle. And we can tell how efficient and adequate, for example, is nutrition and physical activity. And we can also quantify if um, more deleterious uh, behaviors such as alcohol, drinking and tobacco, smoking have already done some, some deleterious effects. Hold your thinking there because I have another question for you and this is I think it will be very relevant to audience is um, what's the really the um, uh, most impressive aspect of epi epigenetics uh, regarding uh, doing the measurement. What's the beauty of running an epigenetic test and what this tells in long term to, to our guests? Epigenetics is really fascinating because um, from my point of view, it allows to measure um, parameters that are not, um, that we cannot reach by any other technique today. Like for example, the extent of premature aging or the quantity of stress or the efficiency of your lifestyle. Um, and the interest of epigenetics is that it is dynamic. Uh, it's different from genetics. Right. Um, you are born with your genes and so far you cannot really change, to change those, but you can change how much 
and when those will be activated. And to do so, um, you can change the environment, you can change your lifestyle. And this is typically the things that are done in longevity treatments and interventions. So now let's go to the point of the discussion, which is this uh, kind of revolution that uh, we want to present today, which is not only a revolution for a Clinique La Paris or for the guests of Clinique La Paris, but I would say it's a kind of a very important scientific discovery and development that you did, which is about stress. No? You said before that now we have four markers for the epigenetic, our epigenetic test, and it, we, we have been able, you have been able to find uh, the last uh, missing part, which for us was very important, which is stress. Before we talk about the test, how do you define stress? Yes, so a response to stress, first of all, is a natural phenomenon. And we can, we can have stressors that are physiological, more because of an environmental factor, because of an um, extreme temperature, uh, or they can be also psychosocial. Um, work-related pressure, difficult relationships, uh, a major life event. Um, and those stressors will trigger the same kind of response in our body, which is a coordinated response that will involve hormones and specific neurological pathways. There's a secretion of cortisol, there's adrenaline, there are, there are several um, parts of the brain that are involved. And all this response has the goal to modify a bit all of our organs so they will shift their usual function to ensure short-term survival. This is part of the fight and flight response. But this is quite costly to, to do such uh, a coordinated response and for everything to be okay, it has to come back to normal uh, once once the stressor is removed. Because Samir, otherwise we can say that stress is affecting a lot of longevity and aging, right? Exactly. Um, it's absolutely true. The problem is that when we have those stressors and there is no, ad no time, no possibility for adequate recovery, at that time we can have alterations in, in, organ in organs that will accelerate aging. So I guess by now we are all wondering um, how, I will introduce a technical concept but I'll let you then to define, how do we measure from epigenetic point of view this uh, allostatic overload of the impact of uh, overload stress? Yes, yeah, so allostatic overload is, is, a, is, a, is a way of, technical way of, of uh, talking about chronic stress overload and this can be measured, it has been measured in studies with a lot of different parameters um, but now we have developed a um, much easier way of measuring it in the blood using epigenetic biomarkers. And this innovation is patent pending and it's offered only in Clinic La Prairie uh, currently. Um, and it will give the, the results to someone how much this person is stressed and also it will give some insight of the possible consequences of stress, of chronic stress on different organs. Samira, definitely the quest of longevity is really to help our, our guests to live a longer and better life. But I was wondering from, from epigenetic science uh, point of view, um, how uh, you as a, as a doctor and as a scientist, uh, because you spend a lot of years studying the epigenetic science, how we can really translate the scientific part into the clinical application and drive and address personalized solutions and personalized interventions to, to a patient, to a guest. Because for us, really, the intervention part is the beauty of clinical laparotomy method, and we really look for, you know, uh, individualize and address in a meaningful, but also, you know, um, mechanist mechanistic way interventions that are really bringing the benefit. Can you just clarify us on, on that? Yeah, sure. So the first step that we can get from this stress epigenetic test is to be able to acknowledge if stress has an impact on our health. And if it's the case, um, there, are, there are three areas um, that uh, you can work on uh, for your guests, and those will be guided by the test results. So first of all, uh, you will know if there is a need of reducing stress mm -hmm. sources mm -hmm. and what technique you can apply there. Um, and then there's also the, the possibility to target 
lifestyle interventions because we know that chronic stress can lead to compensatory behaviors uh, such as uh, addiction, um, sedentary behavior, um, an unhealthy diet, um, and those can be targeted to reduce the consequence of chronic stress. And then if there's already an impact at the system level, um, this is also something that can be prevented by medical doctors. And the test will give an information, um, whereas the cardiovascular system, the metabolic system, the immune system, which has to do with chronic inflammation, as well as the brain and hormone systems, are already impacted by chronic stress or not. Is gonna um, epigenetic important for the future of longevity? Yes, I believe it is very much. First, uh, epigenetic testing will probably be more widely used for screening for chronic disease. So it's really going to be a way of detecting the disease before they happen. Cardiovascular disease, cancer, and so on. And then um, epigenetic testing will also allow to go even deeper into the personalization, the precision of prevention. Uh, so we can, we can have, uh, in the near future, um, personalized micronutrition recommendations, more personalization on lifestyle. And this will help people live disease-free. Thank you very much, uh, Samira. I would say what is uh, amazing about what we are doing, what we are offering now, is that again, uh, there was a lot of research, uh, there, there is a lot of science in what you do, there are patents, you just told us, but all of this now is uh, becoming something applicable for our client. So longevity, which is really becoming applicable to help our client living a longer, healthier and better life, which is the mission of Clinique La Paris. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having me.